Fox 44's Friday Football Fever's Game of the Week is brought to you by Jeep and Truck Gear. Well, after a resounding rivalry win against Grossbeck last week in the battle for the river, the Black Cats are eager to get back under those Friday night lights, and they'll do so tonight for the first time without their teammate Micah Curvin. Curvin passed away after two away two weeks ago after suffering an asthma attack, which led to cardiac arrest. Since then, the Black Cats have continued to rally around this team, making tonight's return to Black Cat Field that much more meaningful. So we head out to Black Cat Field, Mejia honoring Micah Curvin tapping his helmet on the way to the field, getting set to take on West on the first drive. West looking to make something happen. Ledger Nardell with the quarterback keeper, but he's swallowed up by Kadralen Hudson in the backfield for no gain. We go to the half scoreless. So in the second half, the Trojans got a big time stop to open the half, and Aiden York finally breaks the seal in this game, taking the handoff to the outside all the way to the house to go up 7 0. But the real drama came in the final minute. Mejia with a fourth and one on the goal line. Braden Wilson the tush push for glory trying to get across the goal line. The official says he did touch down Black Cats soon to tie the game after the PAT, but not so fast. TJ Adam blocks the kick. What a wild ending as West survives in a thriller seven to six. How can you not be romantic about football with games like that? An absolutely wild finish for our game of the week goes to the Trojans and our Cam Dyer now joins us to try and make some sense of it all from Black Cat Field. Don't ever let anyone tell you that defensive football games aren't fun because this one between West and Mejia was an absolute blast with the Trojans taking it 7-6. to six. And while the score was low, the game featured just about everything you could have asked for in a good football game. Of course, the defenses were stout on both sides going into half scoreless, but starting out the second half, West took advantage of some nice field position, punching in a touchdown to go up 7 nothing. And again, that defense was dominant for about 47 and a half minutes of the this game, but in the final 30 seconds, Mejia scored a touchdown to look like they were going to tie it up at seven, but that's when special teams came up huge for the Trojans, blocking a PAT, winning this one seven to six. One of the craziest games that I really have ever seen. And coming up a little bit later tonight, I'll catch up with West head coach David Woodard and get his reaction on this crazy game. But for now, back to you, Parker.